old are you? You 19? 19? Y'all go to this school? Okay, all right. What do our people do? What do our sisters usually do, brothers usually do, once they come off to college? What's something that they do? Be, be, keep it hot with me. What, what's something they do? What's your name? Donna? What's going on, Donna? My name's Abraham. So, what do they do? What was that? I went to college. It's not strange. Huh? Drink, smoke, have sex. Okay, all right, all right. Now, let me ask you something. Let's go, let's go to the ladder first, and then I'm going to work my way up. We have sex, right? Um, how many times did it take for you to get pregnant? One, right? So, you tell me, you think you should know that guy before you actually lay down with him? You say, yeah? What about you? Is it fine to be casual, like casual with it? Yeah? You know what I want, Hebrews 13? Hey, I want to show you something. You say you don't judge. Hey, listen, I, don't, don't get, don't get Mr. Screw. I'm not going to condemn you. But as my sisters, right, I'm looking at y'all like y'all my little sisters. I wouldn't want no random guy just coming up to you, scooping you off your feet, and then he a nigga. Because you don't know, you might be laying down with somebody who might beat your ass one day. Keep, let's keep it real, right? Straight you don't up. know. You have no idea. Or, for example, you say smoking. Let's work our way up. You say smoking. You smoke. You end up smoking something. And then that thing got laced. They got something going on. You like, you might be sitting like, for example, my sister here. She smoked something. Hey, Donna, what's going on with you? You don't seem the same no more. And she was like, nah, I'm just, you know. Uh, and then, you know, you've seen people start do that after they start smoking. That, now they're crazy in their head. You ever seen that before? I'm saying that so I can watch out for y'all. I want to show you the scripture. Real quick, I know you got to go. I want you to hear what I got to say though real quick. Come on. The book of Hebrews, chapter 13 and verse 4. Yeah. Marriage is honorable and all. And the bed under the All right, so now it said, what's honorable? What's your name, sis? I ain't getting it. Anaya, I like that name. Anaya and Donna, I like that name. All right, Anaya. What did it say was honorable? Marriage, right? Do you want to be married one day, Donna? Yeah? I got, I got, I got a question. She was, yeah, she was hesitant. What about you, Anaya? You do? Okay, all right. Let me ask you this. Marriage is honorable in a bed under the So what you do in the bed with your husband that's up, that's up to y'all. Anything goes inside the bed if it's between y'all two, right? Right now, I'm gonna ask you a question. Let me finish the verse, and I got a question for you and I. Watch this, it's gonna be good, come on. Marriage is honorable enough, uh -huh. and the bed and the foul, okay. but whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. Let me say, whoremongers and adulterers. Now, if marriage is what's honorable, right? Outside of that is what? If you're not married, then you're You say single, okay. If you're not married, then let's say boyfriend, girlfriend, sneaky link, all of that. You know what I'm talking about, right? That's what it is. Hey, what's going on, bro? How you doing? Join the conversation. Join the family discussion. Now, hey, real quick. Hey, sis, now let me ask you. Now, yeah, Don, I'm coming to you next. Now, you say you, wanted, you want to be married one day, right? Now, you're about one year off from being, according to the Bible, a grown woman. What kind of man, because that, that's a big decision in your life. And the Bible goes in heavy with that thing. What kind of man should, listen to my wording, what kind of man should he be if y'all if were to get married? I'm gonna ask you. Like what, what entertain me for a second. What, what, what kind of man should he be? Down, I'm gonna ask you in, I'm gonna ask you in a second. Honest, faithful, okay. You say God fearing. I don't hear that one much nowadays, but interesting you said that, go ahead. Hard working, hard working like what? Watch yourself, hey my brother, watch yourself, watch yourself, watch yourself. All right, you said hard working. Um, you said family man, all right, all right. Donna, what about you? Hey, what's going on? What's going on, my brothers? How y'all doing? I'm about to, matter of fact, I'm gonna add them into it too in a second. No, 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 come here, come here, come here, come, 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 come. I'm gonna ask y'all a question in a second. So Donna, I want you to answer my question. If you was to get a man, right? What kind of man? Should he be? And I'm, I want y'all to listen. I want y'all to see what's inside, inside of our sister's head. Go ahead, what you got? You say loyal, okay. You say faithful. I'm, I wanna see if y'all being honest. Cause if you was just on the side with your girls or whatnot, what would you say he need to do? You say be able to provide, all right. All right, y'all hearing this, right? Okay, how old are you? 19. What about you? 
Likewise. Damn, everybody 19. All right. So now, let me ask y'all. Boyfriend and girlfriend. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Is that good or bad? You say good, good? All right. Read that scripture one more time. And I'm going to ask, what's your name? I can't hear you. Jaden. All right, Jaden. I'm going to ask you a question, Jaden. I'm going to start with you. Read that one more time. The book of Hebrews, chapter 13 and verse 4. Yeah. Marriage is honorable enough. And the bed and the bow. All right, now, check it. Inside of, of a woman, what do you expect the woman, right? Let's say Anaya and Donna. Let's say for them, right? Let's, let's just hypothetically say. What do you expect a woman to bring to the table if you were to get with her? What should she bring to the table? And hey, I'm gonna tell you one thing that has to get, be taken off the table. Don't say, don't say sex. Everybody automatically assumes that, all right, sex off the table. Now, the, the drawers are out of the picture. So what else can she or should she bring to the table? You say money? Okay, you say money. What about you? I, 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 I'm trying to hear what y'all got. Go ahead. You gotta talk up, bro, I can't hear you. Try to help you get better at different aspects of your life? Okay, all right, ooh, ooh. you say love? All right, so what about this? So Anaya, let me go on to something that you said, right? Let me, let me add something. So she said hardworking, loyal, Donna said that, but what if, let's say that y'all were dating, right? Um, what, what's my man's name again? What's your name? That's Jay. Gilly? All right, Gilly, let's say that y'all were dating, right? It was supposed to be, it was supposed to be marriage, but I know, how to, I know how to get out here. Hey, watch yourself, watch yourself, bro. Let's say you're a hardworking man, but a brother come up inside of a Ferrari. You think she gonna stay loyal? If, you're, if a brother came up in a Ferrari, I'm about to play, I'm about to play on something, I'm about to hip y'all to something. If a brother came up inside of a Ferrari, now he's a hardworking man, he's loyal, honest, right? If a brother came up in a Ferrari, Got the nice, got the nicest shoes, the head cut, fresh, all of that. Light skin, maybe he got hazel eyes. I know how y'all sisters are. Y'all vain, right? Maybe he might be light skin. You got some hazel eyes. All right, so what if, it, what if it's green or something like that? Pretty boy, right? And he got a Ferrari, he come out, he got, he got money with him. But this is a hard working man though, he's honest. He gonna keep it real with you, keep it 100 his whole life. Would you go with the guy in the Ferrari and take a bet on that because his life is already set? Or are you willing to build from scratch? No, 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 because in order, in order for the house to be ran right, it has to be the man has to have his own place, right? He has to have his own job to take care of the woman, and he has to make sure, you know, he's a provider. So, would you, what, what would you do? I'm about to get this script one more time. Stay right where you, where you at? You're in Ciroc 6? Yeah, get Ciroc 6. What would you do? All right, she said gotta have, hey, come, 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 sis, come. Yeah, come, 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 come. I, I want to entertain you. Y'all out? Get in contact with someone on the back of the flyer. All right, so now, listen, bro, I want to show you something. Give me some rock chapter six. All right, here she comes, there she is. Come on, sis, come on. Join the family discussion. All right, so now, my brother's in 19. How old are you, sis? Don't be, don't be ashamed to say your age. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Let me, let me read this scripture, and then, uh, Gilly, I'm gonna ask you a question. Hey, what's going on, bro? I ain't forget you was here. Read that scripture. The book of Sirach, chapter 6 and verse 7. Yeah. If thou wouldest get a friend. So if you would get a friend, right? Go ahead. Prove him first. They said prove that friend first. Okay, so Gilly, let me ask you this. What does it mean to prove a friend? What does that mean? Now you got your boys with you right now. What does it mean to prove a friend? You said that person will be there for you when you need them? All right, what about you, sis? Supportive, loyal. Let you know when you're wrong. Now nah, that's... I'm gonna touch on that in a second. What's your name, bro? Greg? What about you, Greg? Okay. Help you when you're down. All right, so what if now, let's say, hey, jump down to that same chapter. A friend will be there for his own occasion. That's the one that I want. Jump down, jump down, jump down. Get, find that for me. So now, yeah, you're proving a friend. Now, if you was to get in a fight, right? And these dudes are brawling. They look like Brock Lesnar, but dark skin. You think your boy's gonna be there for you? You believe that? Would y'all be there for him? Hey, watch your back. They have people trying to get by. All right? You say y'all be there for him? All right. What about you, sis? You, you think your friends that's with you right now will be there for you even through the hard times? You think some of them? All right, so now let me give you a scenario. Kanye West. I went all this whole route to get to a, a main point. Just watch what I'm about to say now. Kanye, right? What did he bring out recently? 
You don't know? He too cool for school for me. Hey, what, what Kanye bring out? You don't know? You don't know? Okay, it says, you know? It's something that he said it was on, uh, what's the name of that, that podcast? Drink Champs. They, they say hate speech, but it's something that he said that made them say that. You don't know? He had mentioned that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians are the real Jews. Right? right. right? Have y'all ever heard of being anything else outside of African American? Yeah, like, what would, what would you say your nationality is? African American? I'm gonna come back to this script. I'm, go I'm making a point, watch. All right, you say African American, you say that? Okay, you say that? Okay, what about you? You say African American? Okay, now, let me hit you with some history real quick. Africa comes from a man named Leo Scipius Africanus. That was a white navigator, right? A uh, white general, general, that was general. American comes from Americo Vespucci. That was the navigator. That's two white men. Can two white men, or men in general, can two men make a baby? They trying to they. You say they can't, okay. Can two men make a baby, sis? Let's keep, keep it hot, keep it fresh with me. Wait, can, can two men make a baby? At all, period. No, not at all. They trying to push that today, aren't they? Okay. So if you say you're African American, you say you descend from two white men. Do you descend from two white men? Nah, no. Off the rip, no. Let's say Africa, let's look at this map, right? Come over this way, sis, I want y'all to see this too. Let's look at this map. All right, so we say that we're from Africa. Where at in Africa can you point at that you're from? Where you say you're from? You say you was just born? Okay, all right, what about you, uh, Greg? Yeah, but where, where at? Because if we say it, like if I was to say I was Chinese, where you would think I'm gonna say I'm going, I'm going if I won't go home? If I say I'm Chinese, I'm from where? China. What if I say if I'm Japanese? Japan, right? If I'm Arab, then I'll go to any one of them countries there. Iran, I, you know, Iraq. All right, so we say that we're African-American or black. Where are we going? There's a lot of countries in Africa, though. So which country? You don't know? That's the point. That's the point. You're not African-American. That's a lie that's been told to you. They also say, some, depending on who you talk to, right? They might say that you're Negro. They might say that you're black, which is just the color of your hoodie, our boots and whatnot. Your nationality has been hidden, ISIS. Your nationality has been hidden. Look at this sign here. Y'all will be from the same tribe that Christ came from. Now, I mentioned Christ. When I say Jesus Christ, what's the first thing that comes to your mind, Jay? If I say Jesus, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Is it religion? You say, yeah? Greg, you say religion? Come to your mind if I say Jesus? Gilly? Yeah? He had nothing to do with religion. That garbage, this, this right here, this filth right here, this is garbage. The Bible don't say nothing about this. Your grandparents, your mothers, your fathers, our parents had taught us this. The Bible don't say nothing about that whatsoever. He was about as dark as you. He was about as dark as you. Did you know that? I want to prove it before y'all go. Give me that, Revelation 1. I'm going to prove what I'm saying here. Because this right here, this is how you prove a friend. Everything that comes out of, for example, my mouth is based off of this. So it's not going to be my own opinion. I'm going to give you facts. Watch this. But the revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1, the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Now jump down to verse 14. So revelation of Jesus Christ, meaning to reveal him, right? It's just to reveal him. Watch this. Verse 14. His head and his head were white like wool. So now, the hairs on his head were white and woolly. Hey, come over here real quick. What's the texture? of this man's hair right here. What's the texture of his hair? Like, how, what, what does it look like? Is it woolly? Is it woolly? You say somewhat this? That's woolly. Is his hair like that? Ain't no, ain't no shot to you, bro. My head just like yours if I took these corn rolls out. You know? Is it, ain't nothing like that. This dog stringy here. So that's strike one. That, that's, that's strike one. Come on. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. The whites of his eyes were red. Is the whites of his eyes red? What about his over here? Yeah, now I ain't saying this is him, but the closer the picture. Watch this, come on. And his feet. Now, if I was to look at your feet, they'll be the same color as the rest of your body, right? Okay. And his feet, like as a fine breath. 
What color is brass, Jay? Huh? Brown, right? Is that a brown man? No. No, 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 that's not. That's closer to brown, isn't it? All right, so let's take that brass and then do what with it? As if they burn in a furnace. And then you burn that brass in a furnace. What color does it come out? If you burn anything in a furnace. You say grass? No, that's ash. You say black, exactly. Is this a black man? Nah. That's, that's more a black man. When he say he came out like so dark as if he was burnt in the furnace, he came out looking just like you, bro. Bring it up, bring it up. Yeah, and you know why that's important? If they teach this, guess what that's gonna go? Now I'm gonna go back to the whole marriage thing. If they teach this, right? When now our sisters who's supposed to be underneath us subject to the man, guess what kind of God they gonna look for? Guess what kind of man they gonna look for? If, if this is what's in our community and get pushed, they're gonna be looking for, that's it. That's it, right there. They gonna say dark, uh, they, what they say about us dark skin? What they say about dark skin brothers? Do you know? That must have been when I was growing up. Hey, what's something that they said about dark skin brothers? Benjamin, help me out. Huh? Okay, I hear that. But it's something, it's something about, um, they, they make fun. Matter of fact, let's ask the sisters. Hey, sisters, real quick, I got a question. What is it that a lot of our sisters say about dark skin brothers? Anaya, y'all playing games. I don't know what y'all doing. All right, so what do they say about dark skinned brothers? They don't like them. They like, they like the lighter skinned brothers. All right, so there we go. That's one of them that actually says it. You say they look good? Okay, so look, look. She, all right, so that, that's one of them that said they look good. So my point that I'm making out of that, though, most of them don't like dark skin. They say that dark skin is ugly, that it's a shame, so on and so forth. I hear that all the time. If they wanted, if they wanted children, they have someone with a, with, a, with a flossier hair, so on and so forth. Am I off? You heard that before, right? Okay, I ain't bugging. But Jesus Christ looked just like how you look. You look closer to what God actually looked like. When they think about power, they think about how you look. They think about how you look, how you look. All of that. But yeah, this is just pushing our community. So guess what we do to one another? We treat each other like niggas. We not each other's, uh, we, we, we don't have no kind of family orientation inside of us at all. We don't care about one another. Because this right here is, is pushed and this ain't. That's what we're bringing out here. Go back to Sirach 6. The book of Sirach, chapter 6 and verse 7. Yeah. If thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first, and be not hasty to credit him. So now, Israel, that's who y'all are. Y'all Israel from the tribe of Judah. The tribe that you come from is Judah. Gilly, the tribe that you come from, you're not African American. You're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Likewise, Greg, Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Yeah. Let me ask you something. If a sister was to walk by, I'm gonna go right back to that scripture. Cause I can tell what sin that y'all battle with. If a sister was to walk by with a big butt, what you gonna do? Huh? Say, I want you to say it louder. You gonna look, you gonna look, what about you? Yeah, he too cool for school for me. Y'all at least, <laughs> y'all at least talking to me. All right, hey, so, does the Bible say anything about that? Hey, watch, watch yourselves, watch yourselves. Yeah, now let me ask you this. Jay, let me ask you, does the Bible say anything about, like, it ain't, you, it ain't nothing wrong with looking, right? Okay, does the Bible say anything about that? No? Let's see. And this is out of the black man's mouth. Let's go, come on. The book of Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 28. But I say unto you, that whosoever looking for a woman. So whosoever looks on a woman, right? Now, you see the sister walk by, nice physique. You see her walk by, you go like that, right? Or... You watch porn. You watch porn, don't you? Do you? Do you? No? Y'all lying. All right, okay, now nah, I ain't gonna say nothing. Y'all better, better not watch no, y'all better not have no, uh, no OnlyFans accounts being on that either. All right, all right, bro. I know this, gener this generation is weird. I'm just being honest. Y'all know people that do that though, right? Okay, I ain't bugging. Watch this, read that again. But I say unto you, that whosoever looking for a woman. Whoever looks on that woman, to lust at the hurt. So now, after you look, now she had, now she has whatever. You look on her. What's gonna start playing in your mind? You say what she got going on. Speak plain to me, as though I don't know what you're talking about. You see her. You watching her, right? What's the first thing that come to your mind? You trying to do something with her? You trying to have sex, right? You trying to, you trying to get in the bedroom. Who's ever look on a woman and what? To lust at the hurt. To lust after her. Bedroom, go ahead. Have committed adultery with her already in his heart. All right, so now, Jay, break that down for me. Whosoever looks on a woman 
to lust after her. Like you look and then you have those thoughts that start coming in your mind, you entertain it. Commits adultery already. So what's that, what's that talking about? What, what should, you, should you do? You say you don't know? Because y'all said it wasn't in the Bible, but I just showed you it was. So what should you do? It's a hard, it, hey, I'm probably asking a hard thing. You said, yeah, keep it, keep it pushing. Three, three second rule. The first one, because every, every sister, for example, is dressed in modest. So you're going to see a lot of different body shapes. So I have to kind of look a, different, look a different way. The reason why is this. Let's say, for example, Jay has his wife. Let's, I'm going to say that y'all, let's say y'all married. Jay has his wife, right? Very good looking sister. Might be exactly what you like. And then on top of that, it might be exactly what Gilly likes, right? Now, you don't really know him, right? Mike, yeah, you'll know. Okay, so now I might, I'm gonna make it just like that because it's supposed to be all the way around. Hello, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. You see his wife and she looks good and you stare at her, right? And you get the thoughts inside of your head. How you think, now I'm going to start basic. How you think that's going to make him feel if he knows that you're looking at his wife? He ain't gonna like it. What could it lead up to if you looking at his woman like that? It can lead up into a fight. Or let's say you try to be subtle with it. You try to start talking to his wife. What you think his intention is if he tries to start talking to your wife? Huh? Yeah, possibly sleep with her, right? Now y'all don't know each other. You think it's right just because y'all don't know each other? Nah, it ain't right at all. What if it was your boy? What if it was Jake? Cause, huh? All right, so now I noticed, your, I noticed the difference in your answer. That's why I did that. Why is it definitely wrong if it was him, but not so much with Mike, even though you don't? There's somebody that you know. Hold that. Go to Leviticus 19. I'll show you something heavy. Now, everything I'm bringing out, this book right here that you see, the Bible, this ain't got nothing to do with religion. I, this is real talk that I'm having with you. Am I not? This is, this is real talk that we have in here. The Bible talk, real talk. Let me show you that. Give me Leviticus 19. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. You shall not hate your brother in your heart, right? Y'all consider each other brothers, but that's your brother too. Watch this. Thou shalt in any way rebuke thy neighbor. Correct your neighbor. And not upon him. Right, go ahead. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. Right, the children of your people. Who's your people, Greg? Blacks, right? That's Hispanics too. Hispanics are our, are our people too, because he can be uh, Hispanic, but he's just dark skin. Ain't no difference, right? Likewise, if that was Mike's wife, you wouldn't do anything like that with him, just as definite as you wouldn't do if it was Jay. Right? Okay. All right, so that's one thing. Be mindful of where your eyes go, because what goes inside your eyes starts to affect your head, and what starts to affect your head starts to make your character. Then you're going to be just like all of those other niggas that's on the street. You won't be like those niggas. You won't be a nigga. You won't be... We, we are smart people, man. We're better than that. The, the stoplight. Guess who created that? Blacks. The washing machine. The space... You know space travel? The mathematics to come up with that, blacks had created that. Right. All you have to do is look up this book called Black Inventors, because blacks, we hate to read. Just pick up a book every once in a while. Now I'm going to share something with you. Say, do y'all smoke weed? Be honest with me. You, okay. Jay, why are you not answering? Hey, he, he, smoke, he smoke weed, don't he? Okay, I know he smoke weed. I know he smoke. You know how I know? This is, why, this is why I keep picking on you. I used to be just like how you are. So I, I, I know where you at with it. I used to do exactly what you're doing right now. So, but now check it. So I know I know you smoke behind the scenes. I know what kind of guy you are, bro. Even, even with the woman, you battle with the sisters. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Listen, I used to do it. I'm speaking as though I'm talking to my little brother here. So look, check it. I'm saying that so that way you can have a little. When you carry yourself, I'm going to tell you something heavy. When you carry yourself like, a, like an actual man would have certain dignity, right? I'm talking to all three of y'all. And then you actually start to walk with a certain confidence with you. And you're just like, I don't need every sister. Because every sister don't, don't need my time. 
I'm a special kind of guy. Every sister don't need my time. Let me keep my mind not here, but right here. A certain level of energy gonna come on you. A certain spirit gonna come on you, especially when you start playing this with it. I'm telling you something, bro. This Bible talking heavy here. So now, Jay. Now, weed smoking. Is that fine in the Bible? Is that, it grows from the earth. Is that fine in the Bible? Gilly, is that fine? It's not answering my question. Though. You say you don't know? Okay. All right. Jay? You don't know? Let's get that. First Corinthians, chapter 3 and verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. He said, your body, you, you are the temple of God, right? So where you are, watch this. And that the Spirit of God dwell up in you. So now God's Spirit is supposed to be in you. Now, when I say Holy Spirit, I ain't talking about that crap they do in the Christian church when they doing all that. Y'all know what I'm talking about with that, right? That's crap. I don't know what that is. That's a spirit. That's a demon on it. <laughs> if any man defile his temple. So now, defiling means, for example, if you smoke. On the, car, on the back of a smoke box, right? Let me say that. Cigarettes, black and miles, whatever. It tells you this is going to kill you. It, say, it tells you it's going to kill you. Weed, I'm going to tell you something about that. that. People think that weed has a lot of benefits towards you, and so you just constantly start to smoke it. I had a friend one time, relatively heavy set brother, I have to admit, right? But even still, when he started smoking, he started slimming. Now, now you would think that he'll have the munchies, he'll be eating, and he'll probably get fatter, right? He started slimming out. His brain, his, his, his attention span started to loosen, right? He's focused on every little other thing, but he's not, his, his wits weren't with him like it was before. Didn't finish school, and now, well, now he's a weed smoker. That's his career. You see what I'm getting at? It takes attention away. It takes the attention away. That's what it does. It winds up killing off those brain cells that's up there. Real talk. Yeah, definitely. Hold on one second. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Watch this. If any man defile the temple of God, shall God destroy. So the same thing that you defile the witness, how he said he'll kill you with it. Same thing. So weed smoking, give me that one in uh, Titus now. Give me that one in Titus. Watch this. So Jay, I'm, I'm gonna ask you a question after this, come on. The book of Titus, chapter two and verse six. Hey, what's going on, bro? I saw you come up, I introduced you. How's, how's it going, man? And my, and my brother right there in the, what's, what kind of shirt is that? What that say? Jiho, what's going on, bro? Young men, likewise, exhort to be sober-minded. So you say, young men, 19, how old are you? Everybody 19 today. <laughs> How old are you, bro? You're 15, okay. Uh, a different age, finally. Everybody 19 here. Y'all all go to this school? You don't? You go here? Okay. You go here? No? I, I, you don't go here? I'm thinking because I see the, all right. You you trying to go here? Maybe? All right. All right, all right, all right. Hey, read that again. The book of Titus, chapter two and verse six. Young men. Likewise, exhort to be sober-minded. So now, my 15-year-old brother right here, let me ask you something. What does that mean when it says, exhort to be sober-minded? Because maybe maybe I don't smoke weed. Maybe I like to drink, right? Is that okay, Bible? Can I drink? You say no? See, everybody say no with that one. I'm about to, now, now I'm going to mess y'all up. I'm about to mess y'all all the way up. All right, so let's see. Let's say I like to drink, right? I don't smoke. I don't lust after women, right? I like to drink. Break it down for me. Young men exhort to be sober-minded. Help me out. Now nah, talk. You, you man, talk. Say something. Okay. You just like my man Jay right here. <laughs> what about you, bro? What's your name? Your name is Jay too. All right. So now I gotta make a distinction. What's 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 your last name? Jones. I'm gonna call you Jones. All right. So Jones, Mr. Jones. Read that again, and I'm going to ask you to break it down for me. Young men, likewise, exhort to be sober-minded. You said stay away from drugs? I didn't mention the drug. I said I like to drink. So what? You don't know? You said drinking was bad. Okay. You said be open-minded about certain things? Clear-minded? All right, I like that word, clear-minded. That's good. What about you, Jake? You said clear-minded? Okay. Was well, you going to say that before he did, or you just said it so you can back out of it? You was going to say it? I, I believe you. I believe you. He's picking on you now. I, I, I believe you. I'm going to go with what you said. Give me that in uh, Ciroc. Oh, you got it? 
Give me that. Now, you said drinking was bad. I want you to hear this out. Come on. The book of Sirach, chapter 31 and verse 27. Wine is as good as life to a man. He said, wine is as good as life to a man. Matter of fact, hey, my, my brother, what was Christ's first miracle? Water into wine, right? Now, Christ, hey, he drunk some of the wine. But the problem is, don't get drunk with the wine. Being a drunkard, that's the sin. But you can drink. That's the thing. You can drink. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Huh? Yeah, right, exactly. That's what the Bible talking about. Now, I'm going to ask you something, Greg, in a second. Read that. What is as good as life to a man? If it be drunk, moderately. Yeah, if it be drunk in moderation. You, you control how much you got. So, like, for example, sometime later on tonight, y'all probably know, there might be a big old party. Read that flyer, bro. Read that flyer. And Devin, it, it, my young brother is too. Get, get him in the right spirit. Yeah, get him in the right spirit. Hey, wake up out of that shyness, bro. That's too timid for me. You a man, bro. Now, check this. It says, read that again. Is as good as life to a man. If it be drunk, moderate. Now, if it be drunk in moderation, right? So, we know that there's going to be some kind of party tonight. I'm pretty sure it might happen in a few, and then it's going to last all the way till nighttime. A lot of drinks, a lot of women, a lot of weed, all that other stuff going on, right? Okay, so, now, let me ask you a question. Jay, since he in his phone, let me ask him a question. I like to pick on Jay. I like you, bro. Little do you know. Hey, so what, if this party goes on, right? And there's the women that's there. We just brought that out, right? There's the drinks that we just brought out. Don't get drunk. But then there's also the weed also. All, the whole mix for a good party. They even got your favorite jams. Should you go? Huh? You don't know? What about you, Gilly? Should, you say yeah? You say yeah? Yeah? I can't hear you. You say you can, but just have a clear mind about it? Okay, all right, all right. Okay, First Peter 14. Now I'm going to ask you this. Watch this, come on. The book of First Peter, chapter 4, verse 3. For the time past of our life may suffer us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles. So now, the, when it says wrought the... Now, some confusing language here. Let me help you out. When it says wrought the will of the Gentiles, they're just talking about other nations. If they're not them, right? Talking about acting like them. This right here is acting like them. All of, the, all of what you see. This was never in our culture as long as we've been a nation. Never. Right. This right here is recent. Right. This is very recent. This has never been there. So, wrote the will of the Gentiles. Watch this. When we walk yeah, yeah. in lasciviousness. No, no, that lasciviousness. Big word. But it also goes right back into your eyes. Right? Jay, walk in lasciviousness. This is what, it, this is what that means. If you see a sister, you not only imagine, right? But now, and you actually, let's say you go forward with the action. And she wants to bring her friend to do some more action with you. Yeah, so now it's a threesome. Can you do that? You say, yeah? You say, yeah? Yeah, everybody's like that thing. <laughs> hey, he said, yeah? He said, hell yeah. Hey, what about you? You say, yeah? He said, when we walked in lasciviousness. I'm going into that party in a second. You say, yeah? Okay, you say, maybe. All right. Give me that scripture in Leviticus 18. Give me that scripture. Have you, you went to church with your moms, your grandparents before? Okay. I, I'm pretty sure all y'all did, right? Has the pastor ever brought out any of this? Has he ever said anything about this? I figured he didn't. Because we talk to pastors. They don't talk about this stuff. Hey, what is this? Give me that Leviticus 18. Look at Leviticus chapter 18 and verse 18. Neither shall I take a wife to her sister. So now, let's say, again, it, it, the Bible uses marriage terms because that's, the, what's, that's what's right. You have a woman. You're about to lay down with your woman, your wife. It says, you shall not walk. Neither shall I take the wife of, neither shall I take a wife to her sister to vex her. And I said, take a wife and her sister too. You have two women in a bed with you. He says, thou shalt not do that. Go ahead. To uncover her nakedness beside the other. Beside the other. So it's just you and your woman, then you add another this woman the onto the mix. Uh, what they say in French, menage de toi. You ever heard of that? Right. He said, no, nah. he said, don't do that. Come on. Neither shall I take a wife to her sister to vex her, to uncover her nakedness beside the other in her lifetime. So he said, the, your entire life and her entire life. Don't ever do that. So at the party, they offer threesomes, right? Maybe it's an orgy. Maybe that's what's going on. That's part of the party. All of that other stuff. 
Should you go? Huh? You don't know? Uh, now I see that. I see what's happening now. Should you go? We just read the scripture. From a man's head? Okay. From a man's head, you know what? You're right. From a man's head, in your own mind, you're going to want to do that. Give me Mark 7 and 21. Because in your mind, you're like, yeah, it's going to feel good. Hey, great. All right. So look, I, I think I know what you like. Let me help you out. I think I know exactly what you like. Let's say a Dominican sister come over, right? A Dominican sister, light skin, long hair, probably about right here. She got hazel eyes, big butt, smile, right? White teeth. Her breath smells good. She likes to put on a perfume, too. She take care of her feet. All of that. And she like you. She don't want nobody else's attention but you. Right? And then she said, all right, now she wants your attention. For one, she's dressed immodestly. I didn't get to that yet. But she's dressed immodestly. But then she... What you gonna do? I'm, set, I'm setting y'all up for the perfect storm. I'm putting y'all in this situation because I know, because I went to college. I was in New Orleans when I was when I was there. I went to college. I've been through this. So I'm talking to y'all. I'm helping y'all out, believe it or not. Huh? You say, you gonna go? She said, F it, I'm gonna go. What about her? What she, she said, and she passed it to you. What you gonna do? You gonna still go to the party? Are you gonna, and you gonna mess with her? Yeah? All right, so now, I'm gonna throw this curveball in at you. What about you? If that was the same same scenario, different girl, but same same features, would you do it? Okay. Now remember, I, meant, I, I read the scripture, proof of fit, right? Okay. Would you do it? You say yeah, Jay. Would you do it? All right. Now I'm gonna tell you something that I didn't mention. I said that on purpose, right? Now, so you had sex, with this sister. She got disease. She got AIDS. What you gonna do now? I see nobody think about that. He said, I don't give a damn. Hey, hey, nobody's thinking about that. Hey, I, I purposely didn't add it in there because remember, remember why I had brought out proof of friend. I said, you're supposed to, it was bringing out, you're supposed to be dealing with them to prove whether or not actually your friend, loyal, right? If you just see the sister and she don't want nobody's attention, I ain't mentioned why she wants your attention, she just came up and wanted it. She probably a hoe, she for the streets. She wants your attention, you lay with the sister, and now she bitch you, she got something on you now. Now for life you jacked up because of one night stand because she looked good? Y'all, hey, brothers, y'all gotta think, man. Y'all gotta think. Use your head, not that one, this one. Use your head. Watch, give me that Mark 20, 721. Look at Mark chapter 7. Out of the heart of men proceed evil thought. No, he said out of the heart of men. This is the, the world says this is the heart. But the Bible says this is where your heart really is. He said out of the heart of men proceed evil thoughts. What's some of those thoughts? Adultery. So adultery, right? We just, we just brought over that one. Okay. I'm gonna ask you a question in a second. Fornication. Fornication, same thing. Murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness. Oh, stealing, that's another thing. I'll get into that in a second. Go ahead. Lasciviousness, an evil eye. So that's hatred towards your brother. I know y'all about to go in a second. Go back to that first, Peter. And then, now this is in regards to the party to what Jay's point and Greg's point. Because Greg, he, he still wanna go. He still wanna go. Go ahead, read that. The book of first Peter, chapter four, verse three. For the time past of our life may suffer such, shall I wrought the will of the Gentiles. Lasciviousness, lust, access of wives, banquets, and abominable idolatry. Now, all of these things, when you go to this party, all of that stuff was there. Excess of wine, weed, all that other stuff. If you go around them, this is one of the last scriptures I'm going to get, and I'm going to let the next teacher come up and edify. Go to Proverbs 12, 26. This is why I brought that out, right? If you go there, because if you used to hang around, let me ask let me ask you this. If you used to hang around somebody gay all the time, right? That's your boy. If you used to hang around somebody that, that was that was I said gay, let me let me clean that up. Um what's a what's a technical term? Homosexual, yeah, there we go. If you used to hang around someone homosexual, Mike uh, uh what's your name again? You said James. So Jones, I said Mr. Jones. What you think people gonna think about you? That he's gay, right? Yeah, okay, he's a yeah, hell yeah. All right. Okay, what if you used to hang around, what if you used to hang around hoes, whores, women all the time? What you think they're going to think about? You said, they, you said he the man, right? Okay. Now, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to show you a photo. I'm going to ask you all a question. This a woman? Is that a woman? He said, no. 
That's a man. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.